Morning guys. Today I'm going to Yaitse. And I'm going by the big road to avoid the, the trouble I had yesterday. Hopefully no accident today. I'm gonna stay on the big road. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's go to Yaitse. Yaitse. Republika Srpska! Yeah, so Republika Srpska, if you don't know, it's uh, inside Bosnia and Herzegovina, inside the country, you have the Republika Srpska, is the Serbian part of, of Bosnia, basically. So it's where you have the Serbian people. As you can see my back is there and that's a, a campground it's uh, associated with the hostel four euros for the spot for the night with wi-fi electricity water showers that's great okay let's go have a look a quick look at uh, Yaitse. well as you see it's a uh, a medieval city, it has a, a fortress on top of the hill and uh, walls around a tower here. Let's go check the information. So the city dates from 1396, 1396. The Ottomans took it in 1463. Yeah, it's all about the, the history of the region. You know, this region is, uh, well, it's become, it became so complicated because of the Turkish invasion. When this part of the world was uh, part of the Ottoman Empire, the Ottoman, the Ottomans had a genius, a genius rule actually, to make people convert to Islam. Yes, basically, they were following the, well, they were following the the law, the Islamic law, basically, which is kind of genius to convert people. They tolerate that uh, people can uh, keep their religion. So the Ottomans took the power, they were Muslim, they converted, the, the Turkish people converted to Islam in, I think in Iran, to, to, please, um, to please the population. And in Iran they were called the Seljuks at that time. So once, so yeah, the rule was like, they would, they would tolerate any other religious group, people could uh, be Christian without any problem, but according to the Muslim law, if you are not, if you are in a, if you live in like the Sultanate, the Islamic Sultanate, other religions are tolerated, but those who are not Muslim have to pay a tax. So basically, a quite expensive tax. So basically that makes that uh, over generations wealthy people can can pay the tax. But uh, but poor people can't pay it basically. 
So then poor people slowly convert to, to Islam. And uh, yeah, so they convert, they slowly over generations, they slowly convert to Islam. And because the majority of people are poor, over, uh, over centuries, well, that's what happened in Turkey, actually. Over centuries, the majority of the people who were Christian, who, were, who had their own, own religion before, because of the Islamic law, because of these tax, they all became Muslim. So then you have the traditional fight between rich and poor, which is also uh, is getting even worse because it's also then a fight between two religions. Because you have the rich have their original religions, religion, and the poor are Muslim. So it becomes a mess. Well, that's more about Turkey, and that's more what happened. Uh, in Turkey actually. That's how like Greek people in Turkey, well many Greek people who were Greek in Turkey converted to, to Islam and became Turkish basically. That's why actually, uh, yeah that's why uh, Turkish people uh, don't look, uh, even though they come from the Altai mountains, I mean their language comes from the Altai mountains in Siberia, but uh, Turkish people don't look like people from, from Siberia. It's because Turkish people are actually Greek people who converted to Islam because of the Islamic law. Still, a lot of people from the Balkans converted to Islam and uh, during the Ottoman occupation that lasted several hundreds hundreds of years. I guess, I don't know, but I guess that the, the hold that Turkish people had on the region here yeah, was much less strong than the one they had in what is uh, nowadays uh, Turkey. So probably that's why much less people converted to Islam here than in, than in, uh, in Turkey, where actually many, many Greek people converted to Islam. Let's go up there. Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> we are, on, well, not on top, but almost on top of the fortress. Look at the view. Oh, such a fantastic place. Well, it's nice when you don't have expectations. You you often have a, a good surprise. So that's a very good surprise for me because I expected basically I expected nothing from that from this town. It's very good not to have expectations. That's it for the quick tour of. Yaitze, I just go back and rest. I'm super tired. So that's it, guys. See you tomorrow when I'll be on the way to, to Travnik. Yeah, so if I find a bakery, I need to stop for bread. I had one thing to do this morning, buy bread. And of course I forgot. Well... Maybe... Maybe here they will have bread? Let's see. Bravo. Hello, Travo. Do you have bread? Yes. yes? Can I have? Yeah. yeah.
Find the other one. Oh, um, well, I come. <laughs> Some like this. Oh, maybe smaller. Yeah, so, some like this. Uh, or maybe it's better like this because it's. Ah, it's trenched, yeah. Um, no, I'll, I'll get this one, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> France. No, it's okay. That's all. How much? Two. Two. One. One point two. Ah, one twenty-two. Okay. One. That's one twenty. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With bike. With bike. Yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Before maybe five years. Yeah. I go everywhere with bike. Oh, really? Um, but now I'm married and uh, fat. <laughs> okay, so no more bike. <laughs> no more bike. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, you can still do it, you know. Um, I'm not have time. Oh, you I don't have time. Kids, uh, job, husband, house. Okay, know. yeah. So too much work already. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, good luck. Well, uh, <laughs> good luck. Okay. Good luck. Good luck to you too. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Let's try it. Mm. Very good. I think I have found it, it's just a little bit further down. Faris. <laughs> Look at that. Hopefully it stays. <laughs> well, that's it, arrived. Right?